Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LGGym007 and today we're looking at the Warp Scrolls plugin. Now this is a really cool plugin that will be great for an RPG server as it allows your players to create these Warp Scrolls to allow them to teleport back home or back to spawn and they have a single use. So once it's been used, they can use that template of that Warp Scroll to create a new one but obviously it costs materials. Uh, an ender pearl to create another one to use. So that means they can't have used the forward slash TP or forward slash warp commands in that kind of sense. So we're gonna show you how it works and then how to craft these items. So there's two items that the plugin comes with. So the first one is a warp scroll. So the way we craft this is an ender pearl surrounded by paper. So if we go ahead and pop an ender pearl in the middle and then four bits of paper surrounding it, that will give us four warp scrolls. Now these are completely blank at the moment. You can see it says shift click to set a location. Now the player could go ahead and set these anywhere. So maybe they could set one here. So if we hold shift and right click, that is going to set one location. And then maybe if we go up here, we can set another location. So you could do one at your home, one at your base, one at a mine, anything like that. So now if we have a look at it, it will say the world that it's in and the X, Y, Z coordinates as well as the Aurum pitch, although that doesn't matter too much. So what you can do with these now is go to an anvil and actually rename them. So if we pop in the anvil, we put the first one in here, this one will be called base. There we go. And then the next one, we will call it mine. So that way you can keep track of uh, where they go. So I have an example one here called home and if I go ahead and left click it you will see up at the top it says teleporting it counts down about five seconds and then we'll be teleported back home and here we are so we got teleported to the location it was set and you can see the item was used up. Now obviously it's annoying every time to be able to go back to the original location to set it which is where the scroll binder comes in. So the way we craft that is by grabbing a book, surrounding it by ender pearls, and then surrounding those by paper. So if we go ahead and do that in here, that will give us a binder. And this binder is very helpful as it can save templates and you can craft them very, very easily. So there we go, we've got a scroll binder. And here we go. That is what it will look like when you first get it. Now if we have a look at this one I've got here, you can see it's already got four scrolls in. So all you need to do in your binder is find any scrolls that you've created, such as the base one, and then drag and click it in. And obviously it doesn't delete it, so you can place it back in your inventory. So just drag it in, click once, and then put it back in your inventory. So now you have all of your existing ones that you've created going to your different places. And then if you have any spare warp scrolls in your inventory, you can just click one of these. So that is how you get more if you, uh, if you want it. So if we go in here, you can shift click to delete if you didn't want it anymore. So shift click, we'll delete that one. So let's go ahead and left click mine and it's gonna teleport us to where we set the mine one, wherever it was, over here somewhere. We can do the same for base, left click. And if we start to move, it will actually cancel it and it will say teleport canceled. So left click and then we will be teleported to the base. So if we've got 64 warp scrolls and then we go into the scroll binder and we want a mine one, for example, we can click that and now we have 63 left. If we want one of the base, we've got 62 left. So this is a really easy way to get those scrolls back in the teleport locations that you set previously, as long as you obviously have the warp scroll that you've created and you know, you've got enough materials to create it. So that's everything in game. Let's head over to the config file and see what can change in there. So here we are on the SM Picnic control panel and if we go into the single config.yml, we can see what we can change in here. So there's a few things, you've got to be safe to teleport, there's a safe distance of 16, what is the delay before you actually will start teleporting, so that's in ticks. Do you want to cancel or move true, do you want particles, the boss bar in yellow that we saw above. Then we have everything to do with the scrolls, so the name of it, the law, and the law once it's set. And then if we scroll down, we've got all the recipes here of the binder, and then the messages, so when things pop up in chat, what does it look like? So really nothing in there that you need to really mess around with. You could obviously change these numbers and maybe change the law if you really wanted to, but there's no real need. But if we head over to the Spigot page, you can see it's updated to 1.18, and then here are the crafting recipes. So if you want to download it, head over to the Spigot page. But if you need a server to host it, on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.